Hi everyone, maayong hapon sa tanan. My acknowledgement to the 300 participants composed of administrators and faculty members of the higher education institutions in Region 11. Because you have registered and really attend today's second JEDRO 11 initiated webinar, you will receive your electronic certificate of participation. I would like also to acknowledge our generous expert and resource person, Dr. Dave Marshall, Dr. Dave Ched OU1, to the president of UPSCORE 11, Professor Tito Pihano, to Chedro 11 family. I hope all of you are in the best of both mental and physical health. The CHED is aware that operating under this new normal environment is difficult. Considering the challenges on connectivity, data cost, readiness of the institutions as to their faculty members, personnel, and students, learning resources and technologies, so many issues and concerns to address, and being a regional office with limited resources, we can only think of two doable initiatives. Assistance in the retooling of the HEI's personnel through the conduct of relevant webinars and trainings, and active role in the development of course packs, both in printed copies and online, which will be available to HEIs which wanted to use them. It is in this premise that the Commission on Higher Education Regional Office 11, in partnership with experts in the field who volunteered to share their expertise as resource persons are conducting series of webinars on relevant topics. Today's webinar on learning management systems in sticks with Dr. Dave E. Marshall, Dean of the College of Computer Studies of the Siliman University, is already the second. Yesterday, we have a successful webinar on digital transformation of education with Dr. Boogie Boydon as the resource person. Today's webinar is a demonstration of the use of portable learning management system. It is a kind of information system that is transferable to multiple environments and manageable to a variety of infrastructure, the specifications using any USB flash drive. So if you are looking for other practical strategies on how to deliver your class lessons, this can help. The two webinars conducted yesterday and today were made possible because of the assistance of Dr. Wendy S. Gamboa, the Dean of the Yusef Institute of Computing, who willingly helped us in having our resource persons. Salamat Dr. Gamboa for being our very good father and salamat Dr. Dave for being our angel today. Engineer Rod Pangantihon, Education Supervisor of this office and his team, have done a great job in spreading the conduct of the two webinars. This is our second webinar, and just like yesterday, we have reached the maximum 300 participants. We also thank Sir Kenneth of the CHED Central Office for this Zoom account. Many would still like to participate, but we cannot accommodate them. With this, we are recording the webinars conducted by our office and we will compile them and we will make them accessible in our website as resources for our interested HEIs and faculty members. Thank you also for the CHEDRO 11 technical team headed by Dr. Luis Di Perez and the admin team headed by Dr. Emma K. Bonsobre for supporting this initiative and for believing that our office needs to do something no matter what the constraint is. The technical team will take turns in spearheading the conduct of the succeeding webinars and initiatives for as long as we have the best intention for the good of many, of many, everything will be paid. Our next webinar will be about COVID-19 and our mental and psychological health. It will be Dr. Cesar Adiga's turn to spearhead. As Chetro 11 continues to serve our clientele, and as we continue to live by our tagline, we find solutions. We are hoping for your usual support and cooperation to whatever initiative our office will do, especially in this trying time. 
while taking into account the safety of our personnel, students, and other stakeholders, and without compromising the quality of the learning experiences of the students and our commitments to academic excellence. Together, as one United Institutions of Higher Education in Region 11, we will cope and survive this pandemic. Thank you everyone for making yourselves available. Have a productive webinar and keep safe always. Our resource person, this afternoon's webinar, Learning Management Systems and Sticks, is an associate professor, has held various positions in many leading professional organizations in the Philippines. He is a technical committee member for IT Education of the Philippines Commission on Higher Education, and the Executive Director of the Asian University Digital Resource Network. Recipient of the 2016 Most Productive Faculty Award of Suleiman University and second place finalist of Philippine Digibayani Award for Digital Literacy. Among his research interests is e-learning and digital trust, where he has been the recipient of some research grants. A United Board Fellow and Dean of the College of Computer Studies at Suleiman University. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our resource person this afternoon, Dr. Dave Marcial. Hello, um, it's nice to see some of uh, familiar names uh, online and uh, familiar faces uh, for those who have photos and uh, for those who showed on camera. And uh, uh, thank you, thank you um, to Chad uh, Region 11 for inviting me. This is actually um, the, the, the first of the many series of uh, webinars perhaps that uh, we could do in the next few days, um, primarily on um, promoting a, an alternative platform for flexible learning. Um, thank you, everyone. It's so overwhelming to see 300 participants uh, in, in Zoom and at the same time, uh, watch parties. Uh, how many number of likes we have? How many numbers of likes so far? And how many who participated in our watch party? 500. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of uh, our colleagues in the academe are also sharing uh, the live stream. So this afternoon, um, the topic given to me is about a portable learning management system or a learning management system in STIC. So um, I'm, I'm preparing a slide, but a uh, majority of my presentation will be a presentation or a demonstration of the application uh, that we customized um, way back 2015, actually, uh, that's basically prior to uh, before COVID. But uh, I think um, many find this very significant because of the pandemic that they experienced. At the same time, um, the, the mandate of our country of not holding classes face-to-face -face so far or unlimited physical distancing. So let me share with you um, my screen so that um, I can start. I can start um, presenting my presentation. And uh, I'm working it now and then sharing my, sharing my slides. And uh, my slides will, hopefully you can see now the, the first slide um, on, my, on my screen. Okay, good. So, um, uh, for those who would like to, to get some notifications, you may want to uh, like our Facebook page at uh, uh, facebook.com slash myplms. And uh, some of our open resource materials are available on my website, davemarshall.net slash plms html. Okay. We know that uh, a learning management system, and I guess uh, many of our participants here are coming from the education and IT. Uh, LMS, as mentioned when, uh, during the introduction, is actually a, a, an application, no application for the administration, documentation, tracking, 
reporting and the most significant keyword there is the delivery of educational courses. And uh, in fact, LMS also is used for training programs or learning and development programs. And I'm pretty sure when you hear the word LMS or learning management system, you always think of its advantages. And according to studies, there are six major uh, advantages of learning of a learning management system. So this is durability, reusability, interoperability, maintenance ability, adaptability, and uh, accessibility. So I think many universities, they have their own learning management system. And uh, I'm sure also that when they have their their um, bidding perhaps, or when they have their acquisition process, uh, they included this uh, in their uh, specification requirements or criteria in finding a good learning management system. When we talk about learning management system so that we can associate, I'm not promoting any of this, but uh, just to make sure that we understand what is a learning management system. So an LMS for sure, you are very much familiar with Blackboard. You are very much familiar with Classroom, Canvas, uh, uh, Instructor, Moodle, or many other learning management systems. Okay? Now, let me check how many of our participants are Moodle users. Okay? For you to be able to answer the poll, I want you to go to this link. Go to polev.com slash davemarshall107. Go to that and then we try to answer either a letter A or a letter B. Once again, please try answering the poll. Go to polev.com slash davemarshall107. And then you can answer either yes or a no because that poll will give us will give us how many from our participants are Moodle users so here they go thank you for responding for those who responded um letter b is the leading not a user uh no, 80%, yes, 20%, 18%. So most likely based on the trend, um, we can predict perhaps that our users, five participants raised the hand. Uh, let us check why they raised the hand. They raised also the hand. And uh, maybe it's a sign that uh, they are, they answered already the poll, okay? And uh, 84%, 18%, we have 19%, 81%, 78%. So basically when we talk about Moodle, it's free. It's uh, uh, available anytime that uh, we can we can download so thank you for that and sorry the the poll is uh full already uh <laughs> full already and uh, no longer accepting responses because uh we have some limitations also in terms of the uh poll so thank you for that uh so i can i think i have to explain more or or uh give more demonstration of uh, what is moodle because basically the tool that uh, we customize is based uh, on Moodle platform. Thank you for those who, who answered. And we know for the fact that currently, because of maybe as early as uh, February or March, uh, there are many universities that shifted to online classes. There are many teachers that are on the spot, becomes an on the spot online facilitators online teachers and uh, there are many challenges along the way there are many things to, to learn and uh, relearn not just necessarily among the students but also with all stakeholders in the educational system when we talk about lms it should be reliable right because 
a learning management system is your resources that should be shareable and that should be workable and that should be accessible by the student. However, we know for the fact, it is a fact that when these schools shifted to online, there are so many challenges, there are so many issues along the way, and that because boils down to slow internet connection. And uh, we hear so much, um, so much information and issues uh, in so many periodicals, local periodicals, uh, about the issues of um, internet connectivity, slow accessibility, uh, slow internet connectivity, slow speed, and so on and so forth. Okay? It's loading, it's loading, they cannot get in. Uh, not necessarily because you cannot afford to buy, you cannot afford to buy a, a, a connection or a bandwidth, but because the absence really of uh, the, the, the absence of the, the available um, network or available infrastructure in your own home or in your own place, no? So, and that's because perhaps you purchase this X number of uh, bandwidth, but in reality, there's no speed at all or zero speed at all. And that's really make so many challenges. The Commission on Higher Education just released or announced to us that uh, um, the, the Commission wants colleges and universities to train teachers on flexible learning. Flexible learning now is the buzzword. Um, uh, it might not be so common for some, but for educational technologies and uh, those um, researchers who studied educational technology, it might be a common um, um, understanding of uh, what flexible learning is. According to our chair, flexible learning should not be limited only to online classes. It should not be limited to online classes and uh, it should include no, it should include educational packets and it should include take home activities. You take note, you take note of those um, two words, um, take home exercises and educational packets. Why? Because um, why I want you to define that and I want you to add also because later on, let's try to equate that of the flexible learning that we are proposing. Uh, according to our chair also, flexible learning, the universities and colleges can use digital and non-digital technology and does not necessarily require connectivity. Connectivity here implies on or means uh, about the internet connectivity. So again, going back to my previous slide, the keywords are take home exercises, educational packet and let's add another one digital and the fourth one is not necessarily required connectivity i created i drafted and i coined this initials pant or p a n t p l m s model what is p what is a what is n and what is p p l m s model if you or your university wanted to have or develop an educational packet. And what are these? These are reading resources that might be in the form or in a format of a PDF, a PPP, or in ebook format, or even a pre-recorded videos that can be done in the educational packet. Second, if you or your school want or, or your students or ikaw, teachers, have access to a computer, particularly laptop or desktop, running in Windows operating system. Third, if you or your school and your students have no internet connection or internet connectivity, and if your school or your student wanted to have a take-home exercises such as assignments that require perhaps a text lang or uploading a file in the assignment, 
assessment like in objective type true or false like formative assessment that you want to take home that uh, by the students essays and etc so p stands for learning packets um, a stands for access to a computer n stands for no internet connectivity and t stands for take home exercises if you have these requirements in your school or if these four are, are available then um, the portable learning management system is an alternative platform for all of us it's an alternative platform for flexible learning as introduced to us by the commission on higher education okay so let me give you a background what's this um, application or tool that uh, we customize um, this is actually developed way back 2015. Uh, I had a funding coming from the Commission on Higher Education. It's a two-year funding through the Philippine Higher Education Research Network, uh, of course, facilitated by our RDC and the uh, in Siliman University. The main objective uh, of this research is not really on the, the, the development. It's more into, into the achievement of developing innovative teaching and learning in not necessarily in a remote areas but to all teachers that have challenges uh, to internet connection or that have challenges in the access of computer and internet connection you can actually browse um, the details of the research so this is the framework of the research we did some benchmarking we did training because we wanted to raise the level of competency of our teachers, um, teachers in the integration of ICT in teaching and learning. And then we found out that uh, the, the main challenges of, or the, 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 the main barrier in integrating technology in teaching and learning, uh, according to our study, uh, they thought that it's really on internet connectivity. So with that, we develop uh, and we customize a Moodle platform and put it into a flash drive. So this was the development uh, model that we followed before, um, user requirements. We tried to do how the customization uh, system testing, uh, training, and then delivery and dissemination. Um, you can also read uh, the full paper of the development. Um, you can go again to my website. Uh, developing learning management system in sticks uh, those are my co-authors who are uh, who were part of the project during that time so why is plms or a short for portable learning management system it is portable because it is a kind of is or information system that is transferable to multiple environments and manageable to a variety of infrastructure specification using any usb flash drive that means that uh, if you have a virtual class saved in your USB or in a computer from the others, like from your teacher or from the other student, you can save it and transfer it to another desktop or computer. Um, uh, this is also uh, will run in a Windows operating system. And uh, based on the version that we developed in 2015, we try to zip it and then it's only 184 MB. And then uh, the one that we customize, uh, you can also find a sample course there, which I will show you later uh, so that you can see what's really a portable or a virtual class looks like. Um, there is a sample course there where when you download the foundation of ICT education, you, you can read the resources. It's like the educational packet. And at the same time, you can perform the assessment there, quizzes, and uh, uh, try to benchmark or also yourself about uh, your level of uh, competency or skills on the integration of ICT in education. It is designed for learning. It is a module based, as I mentioned, uh, portable learning management system that organizes classrooms, no? uh, learning activities without internet connectivity. Self-paced because the teacher can, can design, the teacher can schedule, in such a way that obviously they because students don't need internet connection they can just work it at their own time and at their own uh, pacing it is asynchronous 
because individually they have to have a copy of the PLMS. Um, dependent, dependent in your in your drive or dependent in your laptop or computer, you can you can create unlimited classrooms there, where there are some tricks on how to do it, and then uh, unlimited students also and uh, unlimited teachers. Again, this is very dependent on your flash drive or dependent on your capacity of your hardware or computer. Uh, teachers also can design in a weekly basis or in a topic, uh, topical basis and this is applicable to any courses because like in Moodle for the older versions of Moodle, um, topical, weekly, actually there are some other uh, learning formats no, for, for this but uh, we suggested on two, topical and weekly um, formats. Teachers is uh, um, it, it, it's open managed, meaning teacher can customize its own. We can we can help you. We can assist you in in the development or in the customization process, where both customization for both IT perhaps and uh, for for the teachers itself. Uh, teachers just need to customize and set the virtual class before the start of the learning process. Teachers can upload reading material, PPT, PDF, as mentioned, and teachers can set up assessment, as I mentioned. So um, it's it's something like this. Uh, you are only given something like a, a, a blank page of paper, and the teachers can just manage and write everything, put some educational packets, and uh, add uh, activities that students can take home. It is a system. There is a system here because um, there is a need for the teachers. There is a need for schools to define on the different levels, on the different modes and the different um, terminals of implementation of this. Because uh, um, in fact, for, for some who, who messaged me and who emailed me and uh, uh, I've, I've responded, it basically depends on depends on your needs because as i've said uh, this is open uh, you can customize it at your own and uh, which is based on your uh, needs now let me share with you how uh, our suggestions on the different levels of usage in other words or the different levels of how you are going to integrate this in your teaching and learning the uh, when I say levels, that refers to uh, how how are you going to maximize you know, the, the use of the portable learning management system. The first one is if you would like only to have an educational packet or if you just want to have a resources for the students to bring this to their school and organize in, uh, and organize in a manner where students can follow through and students can and can go in according to schedules. In other words, there is a process, there is a management process in the resources. So that uh, uh, if you wanted to use or if you need a platform, uh, just simply as a resource management, you can actually do this like an ebook or perhaps just a mere uh, flash drive and put it in a folder, but it would be nice if that is organized like these resources is available on this or uh, these resources resources pertain to this particular topic to this particular week and so on and so forth the second level um, we is the activity management if you need also a platform for you to manage your activity you no know, so that uh, students can take this home and uh, it will serve as a portal of classroom activities, so such as assignments, uh, formative assessments that I mentioned. Of course, if we if we want a resource management and uh, we also want activity management, so we can also opt to utilize PLMS in all or both of the um, both of the features, which is on the resource management and activity management. So you can use PLMS in your university, in your school, in your college, in your own classroom uh, as a resource manager or as, a, uh, as an activity manager.
Now, let me share also with the mode. How are you going to, to, to implement this? Um, you can do this by, by specific purpose. When, we, uh, when I say um, specific purpose, um, teachers will uh, find only specific activity and specific item in the teaching and learning process in the classroom. Uh, say, for example, you just want you just want a platform that will serve as a reviewer for the students. You can use this. Or you just want the students to perform or to do formative assessment from Monday to Friday. You can do that also. No? So we call that specific mode, meaning there are specific activities or resources lang yung, uh, that uh, you are going to uh, put inside the portable learning management system. The second, uh, the second one is uh, we call that periodic. So teacher prepares and distributes the portable learning management system in a pre periodic mode of integration. So for example, like uh, uh, for the entire prelim, you are going to give your virtual classroom in, in state and the students will just uh, go back to you at the end of the prelim period and then teacher will record it, and then you will give another another set of virtual classroom or set of management of virtual classroom, then give it to the student, and the student will go back again to you. So something like that. Uh, uh, periodic, you can also do like from, from day one to day X, you know, from, from hour one to uh, hour 54 of your class for a lecture class, you can also do that, you no? Know? But, uh, uh, again, this is only a an alternative tool for flexible learning because obviously you can merge naman or you can go together a printable or a printed or a paper based a paper based resources and um, also the uh, portable learning management system and obviously you can do full um, that's the one I mentioned like from from day one to day X. Uh, something like uh, you will not meet and then students will just go back to the school, especially today during the pandemic. The, the, you, you, may, you may want to simply um, organize your virtual class from, from the first topic to the last topic and then perhaps along the way, every period, you will just say, go back to the laboratory, save all your file into the desktop so that you as a teacher can also compute or review or give some feedback uh, to the uh, exercises to the take-home exercises that the students did uh, at their home. And the last one is on the terminal. So on the question like so, how are the students will will um, will uh, access into the portable learning management system? If you can recall in my slides that uh, my definition of the PANT P is for uh, P is for uh, packets, uh, educational packets. Um, A is accessibility accessibility to computer. Uh, accessibility because uh, pwede naman na kahit walang laptop or desktop si student but you may want to apply something like this like a uh, university is doing this. For students for students that uh, they don't have a laptop or a computer at home they just uh, find a schedule and then they have an open laboratory so that students can just work uh, for it. So especially for a less number of students, you just have to schedule so the students will just uh, go in and come in in a laboratory class. So again, this is only an, an option, especially for students that will have laptop or desktop at home, meaning they can, they can utilize it in their uh, laboratory and I call that uh, limited. For students naman, kahit walang laptop, pwede nilang gagawin in the internet cafe if that is allowed, no? Say for example, um, in that area, um, maybe the, your university will just put some kiosk in that area. Maybe you can say um, you, will, you will partner with a local internet cafe and say we will utilize this so that students na walang a laptop or desktop at home, they can just go in and perform their activities and uh, take home exercises. So I call that uh, the first one is everywhere. The second one, another strategy that you can do is on that limited. The one I mentioned, you can say that all students should perform or do their um, exercises in the laboratory 
uh, Monday to Friday only from 1 to 2 for 10 people and so on and so forth. Okay, and the last one is obviously mix. So you can also strategize such that um, uh, the, the, the management of your PLMS student can access it everywhere or uh, at limited time. So uh, based again on the levels and the mode. Uh, levels based on if, if you prefer activity management or if you prefer uh, pre uh, prefer uh, resource management or if you prefer uh, a specific pool or uh, both um, integration. So that's uh, those are the different strategies that we could share. For sure, there there could be many strategies that uh, we can do. It is just a matter of how we are going to to design our model and our implementation in the use of um, the portable learning management systems. So uh, in my next slide, I will be sh uh, switching to another screen of my uh, computer because in the next few minutes, I'll be um, letting you look at ano ba talaga itong portable learning management system, no? Um, because this is Moodle, this is these are the basics that you can do. No, you can add password to your virtual class. Um, students and teachers can also change their user profile. Uh, teacher can create and update update the classroom. Teacher can add and update resources, you no know, file, uh, label, and others. Um, teacher can also set up quiz, no? especially if you trust your students that they will not cheat. <laughs> uh, you can do some formative um, exercises, no? and of course there are essays that are available also. And then you can add assignments. Uh, students can view resources, they can take activities. Um, there are some automated scoring also, especially for objective type, meaning when, when the students will answer uh, 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 it depends actually in your management uh, for those who are Moodle users you can relate um, whether uh, immediately or uh, later while the quiz is open and other and then um, you can also view your score what's good into this because um, every time the students will perform their activity um, you can actually you can actually set as a teacher you can set um, the grade book or the, the grade sheet uh, in the portable learning management system individually. And then obviously you can export that. Say for example, if you have 40 students, they have different, uh, you have, ang uh, mangyayari is you will have 40 uh, virtual classroom or uh, 40 folders of uh, virtual classroom. And then uh, that's the time that uh, you're going to mi migrate and, and merge all those uh, grade sheets and form it into one. There's a little bit, um, complexity in terms of the migration, but at least um, on the, the problem of internet connectivity and uh, organizing the learning resources of the student, um, we have a solution for that. No? So let me share my screen, particularly on the virtual classroom. So uh, in my screen, uh, I just showed to you that uh, uh, if you go to my link on um, davemarshall.net slash PLMS, and there is a button there. Um, let me go to uh, my website. There is actually a button. There is a uh, here, the button. Um, download PLMS. When you download this, it is a very simple uh, way of downloading. I just use Google Drive, but uh, we will be transferring this in the future. Um, once you will download it, it's, uh, it's in zip file, and then take a look at the login details because once you download it, uh, there is a default password of the teacher. Why? Because so the students man, will not just uh, download it, no? Uh, uh, and well, obviously students can download it because uh, I have the default there. But uh, somehow, uh, that will give you a taste that uh, if you are the teacher, you can actually set the password of your uh, virtual classes. So um, when, once you downloaded your PLMS, take note of the username, the small letter, uh, small letter teacher, and the password is capital letter T, teacher app one, two, three. So once you downloaded it, you should be able to see the RAR, no? It's the zip file. And then you are going to extract PLMS version 1.1. 1. 
Then from there, once it is extracted, it should look like this, the PLMS version 1.1. I open, let me close na na muna uh, what I have opened so that uh, you can really see how it looks like, how it looks like from the, from the scratch, no? I mean from the start that I, I will click on, I think it's already closed, that's good. So from here, there is, uh, this is now my folder. It's basically a folder, no? Uh, once you download, you, you extracted it uh, from zip file and then it's a folder. Once you double click on it, if you will see the documents there, um, you cannot see, you cannot see what are those inside, no? Uh, you cannot see what are those inside. Like if you are, if you have worries, like uh, um, as you go mga estudyante, basically may mga ways, but uh, obviously that's another side of the story. Uh, and then um, you will see something like this. And um, when you, when you run and uh, like this. So you will see the, the, uh, start a uh, portable app and I will click this. Uh, clicking this one will show you this uh, desktop here. And uh, here I will run Moodle. So running Moodle, it should run in um, here. Please move the window away. Okay, then it's, uh, it's in my laptop now. I'm not connected to, this is not connected to the internet. So this is now my portable learning management system. In your screen, no, in your screen is the very fresh uh, portable management learning system. We call that fresh because uh, uh, kumbaga, uh, not being touched yet by the teacher. So this is the new one. So if I am a new user to this, uh, um, if I am the new user to this, I will just log in. I will uh, I will log in using the Dave, sir Dave. Pardon po, uh, wala pong makikita sa screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Sige po, sir. Wala nang nakita. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, wala nga po. Wala. Um, sorry. And here Lang po siya, sir, Dave. Lang. Lang. Uh -oh. um, black screen po siya. Uh -oh. Naka black screen. Naka black screen. I think I have to stop perhaps and uh, uh, um, reshare. What do you think? Let me check. Because uh, on my video, it's uh, here already. Let me, let me stop my screen share and then... Uh, I'll share again my. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. I'll share again, and then so that you can see my portable learning management. What about that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. It's it's working. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So this is now this is now my portable learning management system here. Here is my portable learning management system and. Uh, in your screen is actually the the landing page, kumbaga, no? the, the home screen. And then it is, as I uh, mentioned, it is fresh because um, this is where teacher can log in. So remember, I gave you the, I showed to you the, the credentials. All you have to do is to log in. Once you have downloaded it, log in the, uh, you just click on the log in and then you type on the teacher and then, uh, you input the username and the password. And uh, oh, so something like this. So if, if you notice, um, forgotten your username or password, there is also a way to do it. Now in your screen right now, you can see two courses. I just made a sample course a while ago. Uh, once you downloaded the customized portable learning management system, you will see one course so that you will have an idea how a course looks like. Say for example, this one, Foundations of ICT in Education. So this is a sample virtual classroom where assuming I am 
I am the teacher and assuming that uh, I'm assuming that the students will utilize this, will use this. So here you can see lecture notes, um, lecture materials, like uh, if the students would want to download lecture notes, uh, just click on the lecture note. It's basically Moodle. No? For those 20% uh, says that uh, they are Moodle user, it's, it's like the old Moodle actually, it's version two, but uh, that is why we are calling for we are calling for collaborators because there is a latest version into this version three something and uh, we can collaborate on how to customize this uh, which is a more and an recent version in your case so you can download something like this and then the students will just uh, see kind of oh, sorry it's gonna be cannot be rich um, because i open it and uh, <clears throat> and then um, so open either save the file or or not no and then you can also uh, students also can take the formative test this is the one i mentioned this is just a sample i just call it formative test so continue the last attempt uh, and then the students can just take this and uh, and then something like that take the quiz and then next uh, just for the purposes of demonstration of how uh, what is Moodle looks like and then answer and you have to it's not that very fast no um there are you know this this are these are compact into one um, repository so we have to also be patient patience is the virtue here um the then you can move forward let me finish um, demonstrating this quiz just to uh, make sure so so for, for example you are you are done that you answered and then you will submit it finish attempt that's the time that uh, you will submit i mean the student will submit it so uh, don't be confused when you say submit the student submit doesn't mean that it will reach to the teacher it means that it is actually performed inside inside the folder no meaning uh, it will appear that the student performed these exercises at home uh, then submit all and finish. Uh, it's just the word submit there. Then yes, you are going uh, about to submit. And meaning, what does it mean that if I am the student, I played a role, uh, role of the student. Uh, when when the teacher will check it, makikita na ni teacher kung kung ilang what, what score they got and uh, uh, what what date or uh, what are the details. Uh, when the students um, took the exam, so something like this. So um, teachers can do something like this. This is just an example, like a sort of demonstration. So let me go back to my virtual class again. It's an on offline virtual class. This is the foundation by CT, and uh, something like this. You can do also summative. I just choose topical, the one I mentioned. Uh, this is topical, meaning by topic. You can also do some other. Uh, formats in your virtual classroom. Let me switch to another virtual class na yung medyo wala pang laman, no? Wala pang laman and how to do that on how to make a virtual class. All you have to do is to just, again, I am logging in as a teacher. So I'll just create, um, add or edit courses here and then I will create, add a new course. Moodle call it actually a course, just like us also know in the higher ed, we call, we call a subject a course. So course full, full name, perhaps I'll just uh, check region, um, region 11 uh, test and then CR something test. And then I can have my course description here. And then what do you like? Is it weekly or uh, topical? There's also a social format, but uh, we suggest only to choose two. Perhaps for some, they are more comfortable using the weekly format, but in my case, I would love to use uh, topics than the weekly format. Sige, let's try weekly format. Weekly format, what's the course date you like? Uh, maybe you will start your classes August or whatsoever. Let me choose uh, my, my date yesterday so that I can properly uh, demonstrate to you and then never mind the rest take note that uh, 
we just um, set it to 10 megabytes, but uh, as I mentioned, we just customized it in this way because we promote also micro learning. What does it mean? Uh, that we have to prepare our materials also in such a way that that is short and not too long. No, uh, please avoid making like a hundred hundred number of slides. So the, and then your students will have a problem uh, locating your files and. Uh, and uh, even in the download and the upload, no, for, for us, for teachers. So that is why, if possible, uh, chop chop your slides into smaller and lighter sizes so that it's going to be easy for the download and uh, the, the, the upload of the student. And then it's either you will allow it or not. And then you can just basically click uh, Save Changes and, uh, and that's it. You will see in a few seconds, um, you, you will see a sample, a sample course now. So this is my Moodle virtual class where you can create classes. I can add a resource, I can add a file. If you want, I'll just add a file here. And then perhaps this is my, I'll call this uh, introduction. Okay, and then I should have a read the following materials because blah 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 uh, blah 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 and then you can you can add you can even uh, you can add or you can create a folder no? a folder with many files I'll just choose add and then uh, and then upload all you have to do is to click upload and then it will be there let me try microsoft word let me try saving a file and then let's upload it so that uh, you can really see that uh, it can be uploaded so this is a sample file uh, sample file for upload and then i can i will save that put it uh, put it on my desktop so that uh, i can upload upload this in the virtual class that I created. So assuming I'm gonna close this and I will click browse so that I can find I can find the file and then upload here and then upload the file. So again this is portable learning management system. Um, I did not or uh, I opted not to connect to the internet to demonstrate with you. So the file is here now you can adjust the display and so on and uh, you are going to click the save and return of course so for some for sure this is really easy for you because this is just a Moodle platform so the introduction is there it's already in the outline uh, if you miss or if nagkamalika that it should not be there uh, it should be on the first week because that's an introduction all you have to do is to edit it uh, move it sorry uh, you can move it to the right and then um, uh, and, and move it to a specific week because uh, we are using uh, the weeks here. I'll just move I'll just move my introduction file here and uh, um, here I should click changes. I think uh, it's on that move because uh, and then from up oh, sorry. Sorry, it should move the, the move here. What I did was I, I clicked the, the arrow right, meaning you are going to move. I made a mistake with that. I will transfer it on the first week. It's uh, May 15 to 21. So this is now my file. Uh, this is now my file. So I have resources. Assuming you are going to have a reading packet or educational packet, then you can upload all your material in there. Okay, so that's the reading packet. Now, sir, what about the assignment, the one that you showed to us? Uh, you can do quiz, you can do assignment, just like in any other, in any Moodle platform. So all you have to do is to click here. By the way, in adding resources, there are many forms of resources that you can add. You can add a file, you can add a folder, you can add a label, label like, uh, hello students, how are you, something like that. Obviously, it is, uh, it is illogical if you will put a page and URL there, uh, but uh, uh, we just added there because who knows that uh, some of the students really has an access to the internet, but uh, uh, the school doesn't have a, a Moodle based or uh, a, a web based uh, Moodle or, or a learning management system. So we just added this, but uh, the two most important um, resources there 
uh, format, resource format is the file or the file and the folder. Now let me proceed to the activity because uh, on the PANTS model, uh, educational packets, uh, access to computer, and the no access to technology, and the take-home exercises. So take-home exercises, say for example, you want a student to just simply write directly to your virtual class. All you have to do is uh, you click on that, um, you click on there, so this is a sample assignment. This is sample assignment. And then say, I will say, well, who is, who is the president of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so something like that, no? And then that's an example. And then, and uh, you can actually specify the date. Uh, I just uh, started May 15, just to make sure, May 14, and then the due date is uh, something like this. But again, uh, there are some, there are, there are some uh, ways to do it because uh, the date here is uh, based on the computer, <laughs> no? But uh, this is one way actually to, to just, uh, to just make sure that you can schedule your exercises. So from there, uh, save and return to courses. And then you will have an assignment. So the assignment, and you have now your, your sample assignment. If you will see all the, the icons here, uh, it will give you a cue that you are in entering or working on your virtual classroom as a teacher. No, and then uh, what is uh, interesting here is if you will see this I button or I icon, this is hide. You can actually hide a material or you can also uh, like uh, if you feel that this should not be included there, you can also delete and of course you can also update your material. So that is an example of the assignment. Um, if you want an assignment that the student should upload, say for example, uh, uh, your assignment is your assignment is something like this, uh, because your 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 class perhaps is writing, so write in a one one whole sheet of paper uh, your experiences about or during the pandemic ECQ time. So the students will write in the, uh, in the piece of paper. At least they can still practice their hand in writing. So all you have to do, maybe your instruction is take a photo, <clears throat> sorry, take a photo of your write-up and submit it in our portable learning management system. What do you, again, what do we mean by submit it? Meaning the submission is only inside the folder. So this is an example. Upload a file, then I will I will uh, uh, manage or I will set up in uploading a file. This is an assignment. Assignment uh, uploading a file. You can you can actually rename any file. So just a tip when you write an assignment, make it unique and. Uh, understandable by the student, not just simply assignment one, assignment two, but what's really the, the description, at least a, a simple description of your assignment. So here you will, you are going to write your instruction. So write, write in a whole sheet of paper, then upload, you know, just to find the time. And then uh, I'll just make sure that uh, it's, uh, it, I can submit. Okay. Then the maximum size is only one MB. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll upload it. And there, there you go. My first week, I have introduction. I have sample assignment and another assignment also. Let's try another one. Let's try to add a quiz. No? Let's try to add a quiz. And the uh, quiz is uh, <clears throat> like this. This is quiz one, sample, okay? And then I'll, I'll um, do something like this and then I'll enable this so that I can take and then you can also do some attempts, no, you're familiar into that, like 10 attempts because this is formative, students will, 
try to take the test four ten times. That's an example. Just to attend. I'll just use highest grade. You have averaging, first attempt, last attempt, and highest grade. And then um, shuffle the question, yes, no. And then here, immediately after attempt, um, these are the review options that uh, you can actually check. So never mind with that. And then you can also do some, uh, you can require password. I know, um, I think one one uh, teacher, um, yung ginawa niya is something like this. All his assignments, um, all his assignments have have passwords, and then it in, it detects lang niya yung mga password to the students on a particular day. So um, uh, so that the students can go on the schedule. I mean, they cannot um, they cannot something like uh, take the quiz in advance or later or advance actually. So ang ginagawa ni teacher is Sabina. Good morning. Para may may interaction pa rin, may feedbacking, di ba? So the teacher will say on the text, "Hi, hello. How are you? I hope you read resources week 3 and this time you can now take the quiz. Here is the password." Something like that. So you can also require the password. So I'll never I'll, I'll, I'll not require a password. So what I did um, I actually created a template for my quiz. There are no questions yet. So this time in my next activity, I will add a question because what I did muna is I just created a template for my quiz. So I will just click edit quiz and uh, when you click edit quiz there, you can add a question. It's amazing one because you can add multiple choice, true or false. Uh, short type, numerical, calculated, matching type, and so on and so forth. I'll just try um, true or false and then next uh, so that uh, I can demonstrate to you how it is going to be checked. So true or false one color, no? Assuming the question is about um, what is the color of my hair? Example. <laughs> Okay, so the default mark is one point, and then I'm sorry, it should be a if this is a true or false. Is it true or false? Multiple choice. Uh, what I, uh, it is, this is true or false. So, sorry, the color, the color of my hair is black. Okay, so it is that the correct answer is true. So there you can also do some feedbacking if the answer is true if the answer if the student will answer false so you can write also your comments no or additional reading materials because in the in the feedback portion you can also add file in the feedback portion no you can also add uh you can also paste some materials from your from your microsoft word in the feedback portion there and then um, i'll just uh, click save for the purposes of exercise. So I have a quiz now having one question. The, the question is only a true or false. Okay, so example, I am now ready. Uh, I am never mind here. It's uh, there's a manual by the way, no? Um, you can go again to the to the to my website, uh, daymarshall.net slash PLMS, and then you can download the manual. It's a it's a detailed step by step I develop also. Uh, developed also by one of our team members of the project. So here I will go back to my class. My class code is CR test. The chat um, region seven test. So this is now my class. So assuming this is full already, street twenty. It's full already from May uh, twenty two up to the end. So again, um, you can set your you can set your format either topical or weekly in my case i choose weekly okay so how it looks like from the eyes of the student so ikaw ayo mga teacher we can also simulate paano ba ito makikita ni student so paano ito makikita ni student all you have to do is to switch your role no because the, the account that I'm using is a teacher. I'll just switch my role to student and then switching the role of the student that's the time that there. In other words, ito na yung itsura ng virtual classroom ni student. So students can download the introduction and take the assignment 
and then the assignment loading and take the quiz. So for example, I am a student now because I switched my role to, to student. I'll just click a quiz one sample and then uh, the student now can take uh, attend quiz now. Yes, yes. And then uh, zooming, uh, I'll answer false next. And that's finished attempt, obviously. And uh, clicking it, submit all, yes. I, I cannot recall the, the, the settings um, I did hopefully. Okay, so because uh, maybe I, I, I said that uh, immediately after taking the quiz, you can see your score. So it's like this. So when, when the student is at home, um, student how much score he got, no? Because uh, there's an automated again. If it's up to the teacher on the kind of setting, quiz management sit setting uh, that you can do into your virtual classroom. So finish the review. Now uh, that's the virtual class management. That's the one I mentioned to you that uh, the virtual class. If you want educational packets and uh, to be placed here, ebooks can be placed here. If you want take-home exercises, you can do also take-home exercises. Uh, this is learning management system. The management word there is you can manage. No, you can you can set you can manage your own virtual class. You can set your own schedule. You can add your students actually because there is a system administration here. You can add your students, add an account, add a user so that the students will. The students will, uh, I mean, the student can access into this because ang mangyayari is you have to, you have to enroll. Uh, let's not use the word enroll, but uh, actually the, the enroll is what's being used by Moodle. You can register, you can register, like if you have 40 students in the class, you have to register them here. And then set the password of your virtual class. And then uh, you have to give the login details and the password. Uh, to your students so that they can also log in to your uh, to their virtual individual virtual classroom no so they can add you can also add many courses like the one i mentioned um, uh, like in my case i have uh, one two three four uh, oh by the way if you download the 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 customized learning management system um, you will see two there you can see uh, Foundation of ICT in Education and at the same time, the health portion. Uh, the health there is basically the manual, uh, the manual on how you are going to do. Meaning if, in other words, you don't need actually to download the manual because everything is also here as part of the demonstration. No? How to upload a single file um, and so on and so forth, okay? So that's, that's a overview of the learning management systems. Uh, the, the, the version to this is again, we, we designed, the, we customized this in 2015. We can help together. We are calling for partners and collaborators because uh, if you want, if you, there, there is a new update actually uh, for, for this, it's, I think it's version three. That, uh, that you have to customize, that you have to customize also. Okay, so that is uh, the virtual, the, this is the portable learning management system. You can also change the settings if you like. Uh, we just customize this uh, in such a way that, uh, uh, what is this, in such a way that user-friendly to our students. Then obviously you can log out and then assuming you log out already, and then you are going to exit and then it's already it's already off no uh, like uh, what you see let me share again my screen so that uh, and then show to you show to you the folder again uh, the folder of the the lms so that you would know how it looks like uh, once it is being shared to the students. So from the from the USB, this is actually the one that we the one that we created. I mean we work on. Uh, these are the documents. You cannot actually see some here. 
And then this, in other words, never mind this because this is another copy, this one. In other words, all the files are saved it here now. This is the files that you are going to share to your students. Okay, so that is the portable learning management system. Okay, so let me go back to my screen. Let me go back to my to my slides so that uh, I'm sorry. And uh, so that um, I can continue on. I hope you see my slides now. Is it? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They will Thank you. Okay, okay. let me proceed. And that's the, I think um, uh, there's a note taker uh, taking down notes. I, I saw some raising of hands. So I think there is a QA and a portion. Uh, we are very much willing. I have my team actually um, in front of me uh, who will be assisting me if there are questions that uh, I could not answer. So that, uh, that's a glance of the portable learning management system. As I mentioned, this is, this is perhaps the launching of our of our collaboration because uh, we will be developing some materials uh, and some material tutorials um, and 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 uh, other other ways and how to do it so that we could collaborate and implement it to the different schools. Okay, um, in 2015, as I mentioned, um, we. We, we, we developed, I mean, we, we developed training materials. We conducted training in 2015. And uh, in last year, actually, we also roamed around um, the, the, the Visayas region, no? Region 6, Region 7, Region 8. Uh, this is true, uh, obviously, funded by the Commission of Higher Education last year by, uh, through the CPE grants or the CPE funds. And uh, there are there are, we conducted also some experiments and uh, case studies. You can also download the paper about this. Um, these are directly quoted from the teachers who utilize it. The recent one, the recent one um, uh, from Negros Occidental. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Negros Occidental. I used the LMS during the third, uh, third term, last trimester, uh, January to March. Uh, 2019, 2020, actually this year, uh, enhancing 21st century. Well, obviously there are, there were, according to him, there were glitches along the way. Glitches are not in the PLMS, but in the user, as a user, they had a hard time doing some lessons in the PLMS, honestly, for that procedure, and etc. That's very understandable because it needs also learning curve uh, to to understand the process, the process, the Moodle process, no, in managing the virtual classroom. Um, there are different ways. Uh, again, depending, uh, dependent on the level, dependent on the mode, and dependent on the terminals of integration. You can also read through our uh, the, my paper about mobile learning experiences in the Philippines, uh, Philippine education setting using portable Moodle. You can download it also from the website so that um, we can share experiences so that you can also get some um, experiences from other schools, how they, how they did or how they implemented the um, portable Moodle. Um, just to, just to um, share with you some limitations also because um, the portable learning management system is not the cure for all flexible learning. Uh, model, modality. As I mentioned, this is only an alternative. There are many platforms, there are many modalities, there are many strategies that we can utilize flexible learning. This is only this is only one. As long as you have, if you need the four, remember, or if you have the four, P. Uh, if you want educational pocket, if you want a access to computer, or if you have access to computer, if your students have access to a access to computer. And if you have no internet connectivity, and T, if you want take home exercises, then uh, a portable learning management system is uh, applicable, no, in your case or in your situation. Because this is this is portable, and then if the students will, if you will utilize, if you will implement that, students can use that. Uh, you can use this everywhere. 
obviously, and then using the plus drive transfer from one file. Even if that is not PLMS for sure, uh, any file that is saved in plus drive is uh, susceptible to virus attacks, right? So still um, proper handling is necessary to this. And uh, portable learning management system is, uh, uh, is designed for laptop or, or desktop. Uh, running in Windows operating system. Um, there were there were many who asked about, sir, um, can it run in a smartphone? So uh, this is not a mobile app. If you need a mobile app, we can talk. Um, there are other tools also that uh, we can do that. That's another modality of flexible learning if you wish to utilize a mobile application uh, for for your for your educational packets and and uh, take home exercises and another one is uh, there is obviously there are uh, there is a limitation in terms of the size in every upload meaning uh, it is only limited in in, in 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 a single upload there are limitations no but there is a way to solve this uh, again we can we can discuss on how to do these things uh, we can increase but there is really a maximum a number of uh, file size in terms of the upload but again in terms of the totality of the storage it is really dependent on your drive or on your computer now if you are interested to use plms interested maybe if you are if you are um, curious about it not necessarily 100% um, uh, sure that you are going to use plms kindly go to this link when you go to this link, https colon slash slash tinyurl.com myplms dash intent um, because our team, our team will be, um, is actually we are in the planning stage because uh, we are hoping, no? we are hoping to expand our services, our help, our assistance to colleges and universities that we might be needing in today's in partnership with the Commission on Higher Education. We hope that uh, um, in this, by the way, in this uh, link also, we are calling some volunteers uh, considering that um, we cannot travel. So obviously we cannot uh, do some face-to-face -face training. But what we are thinking is let's try to develop a community for this, a community of uh, for this kind of platform of flexible learning that uh, we can we can work together. Um, we are planning to put up satellite uh, training centers uh, and we are also planning to, to put up or to offer uh, train the trainers so that um, the, the trainer, the trained trainers will be the one to help their neighboring schools, especially for those schools who have for those schools who have um, IT department, let's work together so that you can be a, a trainer, especially for schools that have challenging um, experience into the management, the network, and some other stuff in terms of um, technicality. Kindly go into that and, uh, and uh, you will also, we are calling different um, volunteers from from database um, designers um, contact support and so on and so forth okay and uh, that's it and uh, I hope um, we shared um, with you a a relevant and appropriate tool that you can consider if um, those qualifications or those requirements are available into your classroom into your university, into your school, or into your preference. With that, I end my presentation and I am now ready for the question and answer portion. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 Good day. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So we'll have we'll now have, we'll now uh, be having the question and answer with Sir Cesar. Sir Cesar. And Sir Cesar.
Hello, Sir Rod. Dr. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Marshall. If you can only hear the background, I know they are clapping their hands. <clears throat> and it means thank you very much. There are a lot of questions here. Yeah. First question is, <clears throat> excuse me, is PLMS app free or my bayad? Come again, sir. Free po ba yung PLMS model base? Free. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is free. One is uh, uh, we have to record. Uh, we have to remember that this is Moodle, so obviously you can download. You can you can customize your own. And then if you wish to use what we have customized, it's totally free. Okay, it's totally free. After all, we are creating this for the community of uh, teachers and uh, learners. It's totally free. Sir, Sir Dave? Yes. Sir Dave, pa, pa unshare po yung screen, sir, para makita po, makita po yung video niya. Yung PowerPoint po, pa unshare na po. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, po, para makita po natin yung videos. Thank you. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay na po, sir. Okay na. Thank you, sir. Sir Cesar? Thank you, Mom Iris. Okay. Mahirap pala talaga itong ang mga artista tayo, sir, no? Live kasi eh. May mga glitches talaga. Okay. So, it is free. May nagtanong dito. And it said, it is running on Windows OS. Can this mean the system can't run on Mac OS or Android? Uh, yeah, as I, as I mentioned, uh, um, there are some glitches. No? Um, it, 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 it could not run in, in, uh, in a non-Windows um, operating system. Uh, um also it won't run in android uh operating system because this is only designed what uh, what we customize but uh, that is why i'm we are we are hoping that uh, many will many will participate in this project because maybe we can work together uh so that uh, we can develop a version for the mac os i see May tanong din dito dr marshall it's uh this is all about what if the PLMS approach is non-traditional, meaning laboratories are practical. Can it still be used in PLMS natin? Okay. Um, I think the question is uh, is valid not just simply for the PLMS, but uh, for any for any portable or for any learning management system. Uh, it's I know it's it's challenging this time on understanding how to how to implement or how to integrate laboratory-based classes, which means uh, it needs face-to-face -face interaction with the uh, with the student. As to the question, the I could answer it's uh, it's a yes or a no. Uh, yes, because uh, if we are open, that there are portions or if there are activities or resources that we could do it in flip. Meaning, uh, if you are if you wish that your students will read some materials, do all, read, read perhaps the instructions on the laboratories, uh, they can do that at home. But in terms of, in terms perhaps of the experiments that needs chemicals, that needs equipment and material, then uh, hindi yan magagawa ni any learning management system. Even if, even if that is in the internet connection, because, uh, with, with internet connection or with uh, it, uh, a web-based uh, uh, model because uh, it needs equipment, it needs chemicals, for example. Uh, there are literature that will tell us that there are ways to do it, but uh, it's a matter of openness, it's a matter of creativity on how we are going to implement or integrate that into 
our virtual classroom, either offline or online. Okay, thank you, Dr. Dave. Um, many are asking because they are using the Moodle-based approach, but they heard a lot of complaints coming from their teachers. Do you suggest that this should be made as basis of the HEI to conduct more trainings on this one? Yeah. Um, um, there are there are question challenges. Um, there are always challenges uh, in in when when we when when we want to go out to our comfort zone. Yes. Um, it's at if 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 the institution or if the university find this relevant and appropriate into their modality of uh, flexible learning this is very possible we're very much willing we're very much willing to assist the universities other universities to, to find this modality applicable in their university basic is openness and then understanding the understanding the nature of a learning management Hello, Dr. Dave. Nawala ka po. Hello? Nawala. Hi? Nawala ka kanina. <laughs> ah, nawala. Ah, okay. Sorry. So, sentence lang. Nawala. Okay, sige. Um, I said, uh, what I said is, uh, if this could be a basis for other, um, uh, as I mentioned, and I just want to emphasize also that this is only one modality that we could consider as an alternative platform for flexible learning because this might not be applicable for other universities. Say for example, if you already have a, a LMS not, not from Moodle, then it might be too difficult. No? It might be too difficult to switch to the other uh, learning management system. So, yun lang, yun lang masasabi ko, if you have if you feel that you have the four, if you want educational pockets to be there, if you don't have access to computer, or if your students don't have access to computer, or if you have no access to the internet, and if you want take home exercises, this is a possible or alternative platform for flexible learning. Okay, that's very good. Many are asking if they would like help coming from your end could they possibly email you for a more thorough discussion on this matter? Yes, yes, uh, that's really possible. Um, we are we are conceptualizing now. I think um, I think I can share this now. We are conceptualizing a a project uh, uh, in partnership with the the Commission on Higher Education um, to extend and to expand our services and assistance to colleges and universities that may find this platform useful into their university. As I mentioned, this is, this is what I meant. This, I consider this as a launching, uh, as an introduction to our future engagement and assistance to the country because uh, after this, we will be having thorough training. And uh, as I mentioned, um, the plan is to have a train the trainers, uh, train the trainers so that um, many will be involved. We may not be necessarily providing you exactly the tool, but uh, uh, we can help you do the process because after all, um, this is available also. Uh, we, can, we can help you in the production, in the, in the processes, and how you are going to do, to do it, to implement it. But I think it's more of a collaboration and partnership to each one of us because uh, the tool is just a support tool. What's important here, and I would like to emphasize it, on your modality, on your strategy, because uh, the tool is very dependent on how you are going to strategize your flexible learning. So that is a very good information, Dr. Dave. Um, there are actually no questions anymore, but do you have any parting words for them so that they will really participate on this PLMS? This is quite yes, a sir. Good. Yes, sir. Um, once again, um, 
we are calling for volunteers. We are calling for partners. Uh, we have checklists there in the website. We will. I think uh, we posted already the link in the fan page. And if you have inquiries, also please go through the to that fan page so that uh, we can centralize all inquiries. There are options for you if you are a content provider because part of the project also is actually on the OER on the open educational resources so that we can share no we can share whatever available and shareable content and resources especially this time that uh, we need to work together uh, as a as one community of teaching and learning and uh, we hope to we hope to work with you uh, our team is finalizing really on the on on the structure and the protocol of our future activities and future assistance to other university. Uh, we will be calling you. We will be communicating with you, and uh, we hope also that uh, we can communicate the top management because we want actually Sir Cesar that uh, the the top management uh, would be really involved in the partnership and collaboration, not just simply at the, the faculty level, because as I mentioned, success of flexible learning is should not only limited within the faculty's classroom. It should be a direction, it should be it should be emphasized uh, in an institutional base or institutional uh, structure because I feel that uh, if, if the, the mandate or the plan or the strategies is coming from the management level, I think the teaching strategy pedagogy might be easily be implemented. Of course, with the discussion, of course, coming from the faculty and the teachers who are or who are in the ground or in the classroom face-to-face. -face. Okay. So once again, daghan kaayong salamat. And, um, um, the salamat for inviting me and um, as I mentioned or posted in my Facebook page um, for those who are watching via the Facebook page um, um, it's very overwhelming of your of your inquiries about about it but uh, we are still we are we are in silent because we wanted we are we are actually preparing our voice and we are preparing and we are saving our energy for a more um, for a more collaboration and partnership in the future thank you daghan kaayong salamat for those who private message me i cannot mention you one by one but daghan kaayong salamat for for this activity thank you very much dr dave on behalf of chedro 11 or Director Dr. Maricar Arcasquejo, we thank you and the honor is ours. Salamat juga ayo. Okay, at this juncture, even if I will say that we should continue because the topic is very, very hot and it's very useful to all of us, we need to stop and at the same time, we need to put an end to a very good discussion. And that I really deter. Nevertheless, to give us the, another warm uh, closing remarks, let us hear from our chief, isang foundation ng Cedro 11, no other than Dr. Luis D. Perez. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Okay, uh, again, uh, good afternoon, everybody. No? Uh, I did not uh, open my old video uh, <coughs> when we started, but uh, to tell you honestly, I am listening attentively no, uh, to the lecture of uh, presentation of Dr. Dave Marshall. No, uh, sir, thank you very much. No, uh, very interesting po yung uh, presentation mo, yung uh, yung uh, model mo, yung application mo, and right now. Uh, my marami na akong iniisip no uh, with your presentation because basically for me uh, parang for now yung 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 sa inyo yung yung module mo or your application is the 
most no uh, so far na very applicable for flexible learning so that is why uh, i would like to uh, first uh, kasi nag-message ako kay Rose kani uh, kay <laughs> Rod Karina uh, to unmute me because i wanted to ask you some something Zara, no so uh, you have mentioned that uh, this uh, this one uh, this application is for free you can yes, sir. other no uh, HEI. so ano bang may papayo mo if uh, they wanted uh, schools from region 11 would like to ask uh, for a training for a further training ninyo ano pang ano pong uh, ano pong mapapayo nyo uh, para uh, we can talk about it yes sir um uh, um Ano kasi sir, we are in the stage of conceptualizing for future activities. Uh, some of the plans is uh, to to open a MOOC, a, an open online course, uh, where anyone can just hop in and then hop out and then uh, learn the learn the process where they can also download the procedures, the manuals, and how to do it. So that's one of the plans. Another strategy that we are actually thinking is uh, on the train, uh, train the trainers. Um, I we are we're thinking of um, we will be contacting different regional offices to identify a schools that could be possibly uh, that we can consider like a satellite center uh, who will assist us for the face-to-face -face training. Kasi nga hindi hindi na bawal na makasing travel ngayon, so we can we can make. Uh, we can collaborate, identify some schools, and then help other other teachers. Kasi who sir, um, I'm I'm pretty sure like in the poll that we have, we have 20 almost um, 25 percent uh, of our viewers are actually Moodle users. So if they are Moodle users, it's gonna be easy for them to comprehend the procedures used uh, procedures in the portable learning management. So yeah. okay. right now we are we are still uh, ironing it out on the processes and in the procedures of extending the services to um, other universities in Canada. Okay. Uh, again, uh, you have mentioned that uh, this this applicable to all programs, right? Yes. This can be applicable to all programs. So I am not thinking that probably uh, no uh, the our faculty here in some uh, of the of the participants now are administrators no? uh, uh, or deans so probably uh, we can extend our invitation to uh, Dr. Marshall by by council no by council so pwede siguro ganon by council uh, para not only one school can invite uh, Dr. Marshall but as, uh, uh, most of the schools no, in region 11 here participate now I am trying to connect this one uh, if this is possible, because uh, as mentioned earlier, and this is the pronouncement also of our uh, of our chairman, that uh, uh, before the start of the school year, uh, we should train right our faculty learn, our faculty member to flexible learning, right? So uh, uh, because uh, recently, Chad uh, issued a Chad memorandum calling for. Uh, proposal you know, for, the, for the continuing professional education grants under the key to 12 transition programs. No? I was thinking, you know, while I was listening, I was thinking that maybe uh, yung kasi ang, ang may mga ano dito, may mga uh, criteria sino yung pwede makaabil dito, but I am thinking of the uh, of the center of excellence and center of development to come up with a proposal, for instance, for IT, for education, for business education, kasi meron tayong mga center of excellence dito, to come up with this proposal and to avail of this grant, no, of this avail of these grants, and we will ask to if uh, Chad would, uh, would uh, grant our proposal, then we will ask uh, Dr. Dave Marshall no, in his group to be the speaker. So, yun yung parang uh, tentatively nasa isip ko for now. No? So, uh, siguro, uh, because right now, Chat 11 is also coming up with a, a module, no? similar, probably similar, uh, the module no? uh, of, of uh, Dr. Dave. 
but uh, because we have uh, don't have enough time, so uh, as, as, uh, this is only my uh, this is only my assumption uh, because we do not have enough time because uh, by uh, uh, August is uh, past approaching, maybe hindi pa during that time baka uh, hindi maka train lahat ng mga faculty na natin doon sa flexible learning no at saka meron pa tayong mga uh, dapat i-prepare no it's not only about the training but in our school itself meron pa tayong dapat daming i-prepare no for instance our infrastructure uh, IT infrastructure no at the school no kailangan din nating uh, preparahan yon it also the facilities because if we kung meron tayong small face-to-face -face classroom no if you wanted to have a face-to-face -face classroom then we have to add another facilities no because we cannot accommodate any more uh, 40 to 30 to 40 or 50 students so it's a big investment on the part of the of the survey school so uh, so hopefully uh, with the presentation of uh, Dr. Marshall sa kanyang uh, sa kanyang uh, Moodle application and tawag niyan Moodle Moodle application probably uh, we will try no uh, uh, Rod uh, CSR if if you are listening right now in Bern uh, kindly talk talk this one with your council of deans no and, uh, and uh, talk about it and how we could uh, again invite Dr. Marshall no for a tra training on this uh, uh, in this Moodle. So, yes, as, as Happy, mentioned sir. by uh, Dr. Marshall, willing nga po sila mag, mag ano. But, kung meron siya ng school, no, uh, mag, ano, uh, mag, uh, mag, uh, anong tawag, mag lead to come up with the project proposal para ipasok natin dito sa call for grant, no, CPE grant, much better siguro, no, much better. At, uh, on the other hand, Kayo naman mga council, may mga ano naman kayo din eh, may mga pundo, no? Uh, may mga pundo kayo, so probably uh, you have the capacity also to invite, no? To, to invite uh, Dave Marshall, no? So, bigyan nyo lang, ang ano ko lang sa inyo, bigyan nyo na magandang, uh, if ever, uh, I don't know if possible kung merong face-to-face -face training, but basically parang, Wala tayong, it's not possible to have a face-to-face -face, no training. So, schedule na lang natin, Cesar, no? Road, uh, and quad. Uh, you yes, sir. Yes, sir. Council, kung paano, no? Natin ma-expound ma na yung um, Moodle application ni Dr. Marshall. So, to end and everyone, to each and everyone, uh, maraming salamat, no? Sa, sa, sa pag-join nyo uh, this uh, webinar on... Uh, management uh, learning system uh, this is uh, yesterday we also have a very good uh, uh, topic no? uh, the webinar on digital transfer uh, transformation of education our uh, research speaker is mr uh, boydon also so this is the last series uh, the presentation of dr marshall is the last series but basically this is not uh, the last, but this uh, the, the second series, but this is not the last, no. So we will have uh, Chad uh, Eleven will look for another expert, no. Uh, we could uh, again uh, further discuss about uh, flexible learning because right now, yun lang talaga yung mode of uh, system na pwede nating uh, oh, pwede nating uh, gamitin sa uh, sa school natin this coming uh, opening. So again, sa lahat, uh, maraming salamat po. Dr. Dave Barshall, I really appreciate your presentation. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cesar. Thank you very much, Rod, and the rest of the supervisor. And again, good afternoon po. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Perez, for such uh, unusual closing remarks, but very informative. Okay, Dr. Perez made mention about a challenge to all COD and COE to really participate in making proposal regarding this PLMS. Our director made mention a while ago that with this new normal, we need to partner with, with the, uh, the likes of Dr. Marshall and at the same time reach out to all of you. 
our speaker made mention that for this to be successful, it should be institutionally structured. And for that, Dr. Manchal, thank you very much, Mayor Tribe Increase. Thank you, sir. To post a link of the evaluation to all participants so that you can evaluate, so that you can get your certificate. Ito na po ang post na ibibigay namin. So Rod, thank you once again, participants. Huwag mo muna kayong umalis ha, kayo mag, magpipicture pa tayo. Huwag muna kayong umalis, magpipicture pa tayo. Magpipicturean tayo isa-isa ni Sir Rod. Ito po yung ating evaluation. Kopyahin nyo na po, picturean nyo muna, then later magpicture taking na tayo. Thank you sa mga education supervisors headed by Dr. Luis Perez, sa aming admin uh, headed by Dr. Emma K. Bonsobre. Thank you, ma'am. Kay Dr. Maricar Casquejo. Thank you po for, for helping us making this re, uh, realized. And of course, to our speaker for accepting the challenge. I think you will be the very, very busy person this coming uh, pandemic, Sir Dave, because many will be asking your help on this one. So again, for all participants, this is the evaluation. Participate on this and you can get your certificate. Second, wag nyo muna kayo umalis dahil magpipicture taking tayo. Sir Rod? Rod? Okay na, sir. Okay na. Okay, we'll now have the uh, picture taking, sir. Ikaw na mag-count, sir, says. <laughs> yeah, this is Dr. Cesar Adigi de Fort signing off. Sir Rod? Okay, so we have we have nine, nine screens. <laughs> okay, so please uh, smile. So we have... Wait. One, two, three... Okay, first. Second screen. Okay, one, two, three. Third screen. Okay, one, two, three. Fourth screen. Smile, one, two, three. Okay. And then Fifth screen. Smile. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, sixth screen. Smile. One, two, three. Okay. Seventh screen. One, two, three, smile. Second to the last screen. One, two, three, smile. Parang picture sa lang. <laughs> and the last. The last screen. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Marshall. Thank you, participants. Thank you, Sir Rod. Thank you, Sir Cess. Thank you, okay, Dr. Lisa, sa prayer. Thank you sa lahat po. Don't, don't forget, si Dr. Marshall is ready to answer your question. <laughs> okay. <laughs>